we have several new findings coming up into this meeting providing us new avenues for treating our patients mainly uh, i'm presenting data on uh, our own clinical trial with the uh, ekala brutinib and rituximab which was a frontline uh, uh, clinical trial phase 2 in 50 patients with the uh, previously untreated elderly mental cell lymphoma patients and uh, this study has provided a lot of good data which we are going to update further uh, in terms of uh, providing chemotherapy free treatment option for these patients who are elderly is the general age of uh, median age of these patients is around 71 years and these patients have responded very well to this treatment with a good safety and tolerability data so this provides a good option for patients without having the uh, major concern from the cardiac standpoint which we observed in our previous data with ibrutinib and rituximab and of course ibrutinib is now withdrawn from uh, the market for relapsed patient with mental cell lymphoma but uh, combination with acalabrutinib does provide a very good option with a median follow up around uh, 17 to 24 months these patients have uh, attained very good response rate and the overall response rate and the MRD negative response rate is also very good so with this uh, uh, the finding we are also exploring further molecular mechanisms of uh, uh, response and resistance uh, with acalabrutinib in the mental cell lymphoma in this uh, cohort of patients and further studies will address that in addition i am also excited to see that uh, combination of mosuntuzumab with polatuzumab presented by dr wang that is present, uh, producing very good results in relapsed refractory mental cell lymphoma patients and that's another good uh, treatment option uh, with good results for uh, providing an uh, option for these patients. Then we are also reporting uh, uh, another study which is a six year follow up of our ibrutinib rituximab induction uh, in younger patients with mental cell lymphoma where uh, Dr. Wang uh, and myself we worked on this uh, window one clinical trial and this long term follow up is providing very good uh, results. Uh, especially when you are able to induce these patients into CR without using chemotherapy and without using autologous stem cell transplant, which is a very good uh, strategy. And uh, especially in uh, low and intermediate risk patients, this strategy has favored very well. Of course, in high risk patients, you do have uh, some relapses around 40% of those patients, but uh, still we are seeing very good safety and tolerability data. So that is very good results from uh, this study in previously untreated young patients with mental cell lymphoma who can get uh, sustained uh, complete remission without having relapses uh, even, even after six years with the, uh, these group of patients. Then we are also presenting a, uh, the, one of the field of interest of uh, my uh, interest in mental cell lymphoma is uh, understanding the heterogeneity in blastoid and pleomorphic mental cell lymphoma. And this is a very good uh, uh, platform where we could present the genomics and transcriptomic uh, profile of these patients and we are providing new data on how these variants are different and why these variants are more resistant to treatment and this study this analysis is just in an abstract form but we are doing a larger uh, analysis which will provide which is providing us newer mechanisms of resistance to btk inhibitors as well as car t cell therapy in patients with mental cell lymphoma with blastoid and pleomorphic uh, morphology which is a common variant which is considered as a high risk uh, uh, mental cell lymphoma. So I believe these data will provide a very good uh, conjuncture to the our growing understanding of the biology of mental cell lymphoma in a large cohort of patients since it is a rare lymphoma but we have uh, from last five years uh, collected a lot of uh, synchronized uh, uh, assessments on these patients. So these are going to be very exciting data so I am very excited to present those data and to be here in ASH. And then we have a late breaking abstract where Sympatico data is being presented. And that is also a very good uh, analysis where addition of enetoclax has improved progression free survival compared to uh, ibrutinib with placebo and relapsed patient with mental cell lymphoma. So that also adds to our growing armamentarium of chemotherapy free strategies in treating mental cell lymphoma patients. In addition, there is a very exciting study where they have uh, reported uh, single cell sequencing in uh, leukemic phase mental cell lymphoma and that has provided some new data on uh, this previously unrecognized, uh, not mainly unrec uh, no, mainly recognized cohort of mental cell lymphoma patients. So those data are going to be exciting and I'm looking forward to hear and learn from everybody and uh, do more for our mental cell lymphoma patients.